scientists have found that wastewater testing could also be used as an early warning sign if the coronavirus returns. More than a dozen research groups worldwide have started analyzing wastewater for the new coronavirus as a way to estimate the total number of infections in a community, given that most people will not be tested. The method could also be used to detect the coronavirus if it returns to communities, says scientists. Analyzing wastewater, that is used water that goes through the drainage system to a treatment facility, is one way that researchers can track infectious diseases that are excreted in urine or feces. One treatment plant can capture wastewater from more than 1 million people. Monitoring influent at this scale could provide better estimates for how widespread the coronavirus is than testing. Because wastewater surveillance can account for those who have not been tested and have only mild or no symptoms, says the researcher who has detected SARS-CoV-2 genetic material, viral RNA, in several treatment plants in the Netherlands. But to quantify the scale of infection in a population from wastewater samples, researchers say the groups will need to find out how much viral RNA is excreted in feces and extrapolate the number of infected people in a population from concentrations of viral RNA in wastewater samples. Researchers will also need to ensure that they are looking at a representative sample of what is being excreted by the population and not just one snapshot in time and that their tests can detect the virus at low levels. Some efforts to monitor the virus have been stalled by university and laboratory shutdowns and the limited availability of reagents to conduct tests, the same ones used in clinics which are already in short supply. Infection control measures such as social distancing will probably suppress the current pandemic, but the virus could return once such measures are lifted. Routine wastewater surveillance could be used as a non-invasive early warning tool to alert communities to new COVID-19 infections. Studies have also shown that SARS-CoV-2 can appear in feces within three days of infection, which is much sooner than the time taken for people to develop symptoms severe enough for them to seek hospital care up to two weeks and get an official diagnosis. Tracking viral particles in wastewater could give public health officials a head start on deciding whether to introduce measures such as lockdowns. Seven to ten days can make a lot of difference in the severity of this outbreak. Earlier identification of the virus's arrival in a community might limit the health and economic damage caused by COVID-19, especially if it comes back next year. Wastewater monitoring has been used for decades to assess the success of vaccination campaigns against polio virus. The approach could also be used to measure the effectiveness of interventions such as social distancing.